This time we got a Samsung PN51D450 plasma set. This set goes back to about 2011, 2012, something like that. And uh, this one's completely dead. Now this is my set. I've been using this set now for about 10 years since I fixed it. It still works. But this one had quite a unique problem. And when I got some replacement parts, the replacement parts were bad. Let's check it out and see what went wrong and how we fixed it. So I've checked out the, uh, the basic power supply operation. This is what's happening on this one. I plug it in. The set will try to turn on. And then we're going to end up with the little flashing light here. It's going to go down to a flash about once every uh, five seconds. And how you go about testing the set like this, this is telling me that there's a problem either on the uh, Y sustain or the X main on Samsung. If we check our power supply voltages, we'll notice what's going on here. So if I put my meter in, VS line, which is the 205 volts on this particular chassis, and we'll just attempt to turn the set on and off with the remote. So you'll see that the voltage will initially try to come on. There we go. Okay, our 205 volts comes up, and then it goes off. So it's trying to start, and it's shutting down. If we check our power supply pin right here on the connector from the control board, VS on, we'll find that VS on comes high and then it goes low. It'll go up to about 3 volts and then it drops down to nothing. There it goes, 3 volts and then it goes off. So that's telling me that the control board here is shutting down the power supply. And it's one of two one of two things. Either the power supply has a problem on it, or we've got a problem on one of these boards, either the X sustain or, or sorry, the Y sustain or the what they call the X main. We're going to take a look at the Y sustain board first. We're going to check it for bad uh, cold solder connections. It's always been a, a bigger, the biggest problem with televisions is the components haven't failed, it's connections. So we're going to disconnect this board. We'll remove it. I'm just going to give it a once over and inspect it and see whether we have any cold solder connections. Check out this capacitor here. Just watch the pins when I wiggle this. See the pins moving? That's one connection right there that's suspect. We're going to resolder that one. So after I check the uh, Y sustain board, and the Z sustain board, I don't find any components and none of the FETs or any of the diodes or anything are blown on that board. So we're going to move over to the uh, Y buffer board, which is this one here. This is the big board that's normally plugs into, it plugs into the Y sustain board over here. It has all these little edge connectors that connect to the plasma panel. We're going to check this for shorts. Now, I suspect that we have a problem with one of these buffer chips because when the set first fires up, for a brief second before it goes out, you kind of get a bit of a glow to the picture, and there's a bit of brighter glow in the bottom section of the panel. So we're going to check this buffer board out for shorted ICs. And basically what these ICs do is each one of these ICs drives one of the lines of the panel. So this is a 720p panel, so it'll be 720 individual connections along here on these eight buffer chips. Um, the 1080 panels will have 12 buffer, ch buffer chips on them. These buffer chips are all the same and basically how they work is they scan line by line. So it, they're sequential switches. They're charged by the Y sustain board and they drive down and connect each line of the panel one by one. So how we're going to test this is we'll just put our 
our negative probe on one of our test points here and we'll just run down the connections. We're looking for short circuits. And I've just got my meter and diode test function. If we were to look at the output of the meter, we'll see like about a 0.7 volt drop because it's going to measure each of these junctures like it would if it was a diode. So if you can see the screen on my meter there, I'm not even looking at the meter reading. I'm just going to listen for the thing beeping. If it shorts, if, it, if I pick a dead short up, then we know that we've got a bad buffer chip. And we're just going to go down all the pins all the way down. And as you can hear, so far we haven't found anything. Now remember I said that I saw what looked to be brighter lines just before the set shuts down at the bottom half of the panel or the bottom, I guess the bottom eighth of the panel. Uh, that would be this chip here. So let's just continue and check this chip because I, the one I think is shot is this one here. Well that half of the connector is okay. Oh. We have a dead short. We have a dead short here. We have two dead shorts. So we have a couple transistors inside this IC that have shorted. Well, my new board arrived today for this plasma, and we're just going to uh, unwrap it here and install it. Okay, the moment of truth. We've got our new white uh, buffer board in. Turn on the power. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? This is the one here. This is all that I've done other than replace the buffer board on this set, which allowed the set to turn on, but gave me just a bunch of noise at the bottom of the picture and, and no uh, picture, just a little bit of noise at the bottom. At least the set didn't shut down like it was doing before. So I was looking at this IC and some of the connections looked a bit flaky. I've just gone over them. But got me back a picture for what three quarters of the screen so as we can see I just put uh, my cable on here and I've just got my security cameras displaying on here right now and as you can see let's see make the size of this thing it's a stretch show it looks like I guess I've got it on zoom here we go so as you can see we've got a problem here and this this could be this it could be that buffer board is no good but the thing that really concerns me is this here <sighs> Looks like a bloody bad panel, doesn't it? We have a signal. We have a signal. And oh we have a signal. That should be the bottom one. Let's just check them all. Should be there should be signals on eight pins here. Signal on that one. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and the eighth one is up here. We have a signal on all eight pins going into the buffer board, and this IC itself is still not putting out anything. It's cold. Like the other chips are warm, this one's cold. I got a bad buffer. So, in light of it, the fact that we've got signal on all of our Eight data lines going onto the board, which I suspected that we would. I'm thinking this is this, this um, board is just bad. So we received the new part from Shop Jimmy. Here's the new one. We're going to uh, replace the defective board that they showed me last week. So we've got the new board in. Just fastening the last screws for it here. put all of our connectors in place. So now we get the board fast in place, we'll just reconnect our power. 
we'll go around and turn the set on and see how it looks. Well, isn't that interesting? Uh, we have a problem still. Look at this. Hmm. I'm just going to make sure that all of our connectors are seated properly on there. But at least, at least it's it's working. It's working better than the other one, but it seem like, seems like we still may have a problem. So we'll just undo these connectors and just redo them again, just to make sure that everything is properly connected. Power on. Oh, keep our fingers crossed that uh, it's going to fix it. There we go. Wonderful. I'm very happy. So there we have it. We had a, a bad buffer board. And as you can see, the screen does have a crack in it. Where is it? Uh, it's right down here somewhere. There is the thermal crack. You can see it. And um, I mean, it's not that noticeable. Uh, this TV is going to... I'm going to keep this TV. It's a nice TV. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go in my... Uh, gonna go in my bedroom. It'd be a good TV to watch the news on in the morning. You know, I'm looking at that and I really don't even notice that crack. So there you have it. I've fixed the plasma. I've just been watching this thing here for a while, you know, and that crack in the screen, I don't even really notice it. Anyway, as I mentioned before, the set's still running. I did this one 10 years ago. This TV's in my bedroom as my news set it comes on in the morning before going to work so i can catch the news as i'm getting ready for work and it's got burn in it's got the global news logo burned in multiple places because they move it around but um it's worked flawless it still has a good picture other than the burn in um i got the set for free cost me 25 bucks for the part to fix it now that was 10 years ago you probably have a hard time finding these boards now but uh, Anyway, it's uh, say it's still a workhorse. I'm going to run this thing until it completely dies. Anyway, I figured I'd do a revision of this and shorten it down because the original version was really long and quite dry. A lot of testing and stuff went on there. But uh, hope you enjoyed this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.